there is a lot of hype around hydroponics and its potential. Many see it as the silver bullet that will feed the world and solve our farming problems. However, hydroponics is not the holy grail. It is not going to save farming and feed the world. It is only part of the solution. In this video, we will review six disadvantages of hydroponics and how it should be used. Let's dive in. The first issue is cost. Starting a hydroponic system requires lots of equipment such as proper lights, growing mediums, support structures for the plant to grow on, pumps and others. This cost can often be a barrier to starting a hydroponic farm or garden. In addition to this fixed cost of purchasing equipment, maintaining an artificial environment with LEDs, lights, pans, computers and other technologies brings up the recurrent cost which needs to be paid every month, such as electricity. Then, the second issue is that all of this equipment needs to be managed, and this requires expertise. Since all the plant requirements are taken care of by the farmer and not by natural systems, the health and growth of the plants and the success of the system depends almost entirely on the knowledge and skills of the farmer. Related to that, a third problem is the micromanagement of the plant, which requires constant monitoring and maintenance. When not fully automated, an hydroponic system needs to be closely monitored and adjusted so that the plant's needs are met. For example, monitoring the nutrients, the light intensity and duration, the temperature, the ventilation and other parameters. This constant monitoring is required because the soil is not present. This is our fourth problem, the lack of buffer for changes in environmental conditions and weak plants. In organic, soil-based farming, a plant will develop relationships with a soil food web, basically all the microorganisms living in the soil. These relationships, combined with a healthy root system, develop to scavenge for nutrients, air and water, nurture strong and resilient plants. In addition, in these cases, the soil will be there to act as a buffer and natural management system for nutrients levels, pH, temperatures and others. In short, no soil and diversity reduces resilience of the system. In hydroponics, the plant focused entirely on growth since all of its requirements were met by the farmer. Although growth is increased, it results in a weaker plant more susceptible to die off quickly if there is any issue such as improper pH or nutrient level in the water. Because of that, a hydroponic gardener or farmer will need to constantly keep an eye on the system to ensure everything is going alright. This leads us to our fifth issue, which is the dependency of hydroponic systems on electricity. Pumps moving and oxygenating water depends on electricity, same goes for the lights. If there is a power shortage and no backup measures have been put in place, an hydroponic system can completely fail and all crops will die. In addition, if the system is not plugged to an off-grid, renewable energy-based system for its electricity, it can contribute to CO2 emissions. Finally. Focusing entirely on hydroponics for food production would be a mistake in my opinion. Soil-based farming methods that mimics natural systems such as syntropic farming, permaculture and many others have tremendous potential to restore our ecosystems, sequestrate carbon in the soil, restore and increase biodiversity while providing food for local communities. For these reasons, I believe it is best to have a combination of regenerative soil-based farming practices and hydroponics methods by taking advantage of and using them when they can yield the maximum benefits for the communities where they are implemented. 
This rounds it up for the main disadvantages of hydroponics. If you enjoyed watching the video, let me know what are your thoughts in the comments, leave a like and subscribe to follow the journey. In the meantime, have a nice growth.